Hello and welcome back to another review. I have a OmniDoc charger in for testing today and this was supplied by Olight for review. So I'll run through everything on the charger and how it performs with the charging. This is everything that you get included in the pack on the desk and on the front of the box you'll just see some functions of the charger. You have the LED charge status lights and auto shut off as well. The battery types it accepts are from the triple A's, eight A's, right up to the 18650s and smaller lithium cells. You won't fit the two 6650s in this. And on the back, some specifications, dimensions, weight, and the power input and charge rates, etc. all there. So you might want to pause that and have a look. On the bottom, this is the UK version with the three pin plug. You'll get your own one depending on the region that you are in. Looking at the charger, it's quite a small compact size and it's a round shape. Most of them are rectangular. You do get good build quality on this. You have metal sliders on the rails and the plastics feel quite dense too. On the underside, we have the four silicone pads and also lists out the charging specs on there. Not much to see on the case apart from the input for the power adapter and the maker's name is on the front. Everything else is blank and this is the adapter. As you can see here, it uses a small proprietary uh, pin type. Uh, you also have an LED on it. The cable length is quite long on this. It's about 1.4 meters. Onto the user manual, pretty straightforward and simple. This is fully automatic, but it goes through all of the features that are included. You have reverse polarity protection, and it automatically shuts off after charging. So it's worth having a quick read on that. Now, once you plug the charger in, you will see the red LED light come on at the top for the power indicator. Now, depending on how you position this, the um, LED indicator at the top will mean that the positive terminal is at the bottom. So when you insert a battery here, you'll see that the lights are coming on. It doesn't really matter which way you turn this around. But just bear that in mind. Now, if you do put it in the wrong way, it automatically alerts you with the flashing LEDs. So you can't really go wrong with this charger, even if you attempt to charge them incorrectly. Sliders feel pretty good. They also have raised nipple areas. Now you can use the smaller lithium cells with this charger, but you are stuck with that one amp charging and that might reduce the cycle times, um, number of cycles that you'll get off those batteries. So into the AA testing now. This works off of a voltage termination test. It's not a Delta V, which perhaps would have been slightly better, but still it works quite well. You have half an amp charging for eight A's and triple A's. I'm putting a 18650. This is already charged and it very quickly knows that it's charged and it doesn't attempt to put any more current into the battery. So that's a good feature to have. So it won't attempt to recharge charged batteries. Some chargers can take a while, five, 10 minutes to notify that. And now I have the cell which requires charging in the right hand slot. And you can see you get the one to four levels on the LEDs. So I can see that this is fairly low. Now onto the lithium ion on the right there, that's charging at an amp, but you can mix in other cells. I've got the nickel metal hydride here, uh, AAA, and that will charge at half an amp. Now once it's finished charging, you'll see the four lights stay on for a couple of minutes, then it goes down to one LED light. So that indicates that it's fully charged. It's just a feature, it turns off the other LEDs. Now onto the test, I've got 1.49 volts for the AAA, so that's a good charge on that. And I've got 4.2 for the 18650. So you might find that the battery voltages might vary slightly, but I consistently found that it was giving a good charge on both types of cell. Now, as far as heat goes, no problems with this. They get very slightly warm, um, the cells, but not hot at all. And the contact points aren't hot either. Neither is the body of the charger. Running another test on a 18650. This one came out at 4.17 volts. And I'm going to test another nicomet hydride cell. Looking for anything over 1.45 volts up to 1.5, and that's around 1.47. So decent charging for that. And just putting in a smaller cell just to show you there. Personally, I would prefer if they had a lower charging rate for those smaller cells. Another um, 14500 in the left slot. Again, different batch of cells here. You can use them. It's not unsafe. They won't blow up or anything like that but it would be much better to have a slower charging rate. Quick summary on the OmniDoc charger from Olight. I personally like the design 
of the charger. The round shape works very well for desktop use. It takes up a lot less space than most chargers would. And the extra LED, you have four, is an improvement over many chargers that I've looked at, which might only have three. So you get a better idea of the charge status of the batteries. It's also a very safe charger to use. You can't insert the cells the wrong way. It won't attempt to charge them. The charging speeds are actually pretty good. If you're a 18650 user or a Vapor, you're gonna get one amp charging for each bay on those cells and that's decent that's actually better than some of the bigger chargers that i have now onto the negatives i really would like to see a smaller uh, charging rate such as a half an amp lower charge rate for those cells to prolong the recharge cycles on them that's really the main area that i would change so this wouldn't be my first choice if you're a heavy user of very small lithium cells also a micro usb input would make it quite a useful travel charger to have so i hopefully i like will come out with a version two of this and address those issues but as it is right now for a standard charger it's actually pretty good overall and i got decent charge rates from it so thanks very much for watching the video and i hope you found that of some use don't forget to subscribe where i'll be looking at more chargers in future videos